Hey guys, Keithy Six, metal detecting in Alaska, and we're in the motorhome again. We just had uh, the heaviest snowfall here in September in the last 23 years in Fairbanks. So uh, I'm taking the motorhome out this weekend. The roads have finally cleared off. It turned to rain, and uh, most of the roads are clear. So let's try to take the motorhome and go metal detecting. Also, we're going to try out the new unique Q500 4K quadcopter. So let's get started. Okay, so I decided to bring my uh, co-pilot. Dog was whining. She wanted to go. So we'll take her for a ride. So getting ready to pull out here. So here's Santa Claus's house, and there's the giant uh, statue. They used to have reindeer here, but I don't think they do anymore. All right, let's pull in here. And they used to have reindeer over here, but uh, I don't see it all fenced in anymore. All kinds of cool souvenirs for Christmas in there, open year round. Check this out. Look how big this uh, Santa Claus statue is. Giant! It's pretty big. It's like three times the height of the uh, RV. So yeah, that thing's like four stories tall or more. Huge! Especially next to the uh, RV. Comes up to the bottom of his jacket. Looks like he's checking his list. It's a big list. Alright, let's head to uh, Nor uh, China Lakes. And the ranger station's closed. Let's go see what uh, the campground and the beach road looks like. Now patches of snow and then clear road. So it's kind of a mixed road condition. Not too bad. All right, so here we are at the lake. So let's uh, find a place to park and uh, Get out and see how cold it is. It's probably about 30 degrees here. Okay, so you guys have seen my other little AR2 drone with a little 720 camera on it. I just bought this. It's a unique, unique Typhoon Q500 with a 4K camera. And it's a little, little quadcopter. It has a three axis gimbal with a 4K camera on it. So we're gonna try to fly that here today before the weather gets much worse. Everything's melting, so it must be above freezing. So I'm gonna get this out and I'll show you what it look, looks like. Alright, so <clears throat> just put the props on and took the gimbal guard off of the camera. It's like a 500 series quadcopter, so it's pretty big. And then I've got the transmitter. 
I'll see everything that the camera's seeing on here. And uh, wow, I'm excited to fly it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to fly this thing, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous. Almost lost a $300 one here a week or so ago. And this is a twelve or $1,300 one. So we'll, hopefully it'll fly Okay, good. so here we go. We're gonna fire the engines up. really quiet then lift off in angle mode we back up a little bit Landing all by itself. I ain't doing nothing. Cut the engines. Sweet! The first successful flight of the Q500 4K. Wow. I tell you, it was fun. But at the same time, it was a little scary, but cool. Now we know it'll fly and follow us and everything else, so good well, time. Well, I used up my first battery on the first three successful flights, and uh, wow, I'm really happy with that thing. Can't wait to see the footage. So I'm just in the RV warming up, got the furnace going, and uh, getting ready to go out and fly around some more, maybe do a little metal detecting. Well, out at the Chena Lakes today. And look at there, first target. Mike's Lemonade Bottle Cap. Trying out my new quadcopter today. Got some good uh, aerial views while I was detecting. So let's see what we can find. Hey, first piece of jewelry for today. Found an earring. It's got some rust on it, so don't think it's anything special, but hey, it's a good sign. That's a screamer. Oh, and of course, that's why. Big old bottle cap. Well, it's crazy, but I'm so excited to find this penny. First coin of the day. Well, just starting to rain here, so I better go get the quadcopter in. And then I'll get my raincoat and come back out and do some more metal detecting. Might as well check out this playground while we're here. Well, you know, recently I uh, ordered me a What is that? Oh, of course. It's a bottle cap. I ordered me a Technetics T2 Classic Green. Those things, man, they're classic. Used to be you couldn't get one. And they just reintroduced them. They were $8.99. $900. And they're selling them for $4.99. And I got one coming. So I can't wait to try it out. Just a little 
Anyway, should be getting it any day. Can't wait to try it. Got a whole bunch of accessories. Got a 15 inch coil, a five inch coil, and I think an 11 inch coil. But boy, I tell you what, this Fisher F44 is awesome. It's raining and I ain't gotta worry about it. So let's keep hunting. Probably the nicest thing I found today, but there's no metal on it. Nice little kid. The wind's bracelet. blowing so hard, it's rocking that uh, little kid's oh, toy keep there. Finding these little links. It's the third one I found so far. I tell you, it really doesn't bother me hunting the playgrounds because at least I know I'm getting dangerous stuff out of here, and the kids won't get hurt on it. So there's an old rusty safety pin. Hey, something besides a penny. I found a nickel, I found a nickel. It's shiny like silver, but it's not. Hey, it's a good start. Steady rain coming down here. Can't really see your breath, so it's not that cold, I guess. I just found this huge old earring. Finally, some big money. 1967. I'm always just a year or a few years off. All right, let's keep looking. Well, hey, Tony, check that out. Old rusted tent stake. There's a familiar face. All right, so we're heading back to the RV. And uh, let's go get something warm to eat, regroup, and figure out what we're going to do. All right, well, been a successful morning, so let's go ahead and head towards, back towards Fairbanks.